I'm going to show you a sample. So this is just obviously a placeholder. And what I've done so far is I've given it two key keyframes. And then if you click this down here, this will kind of turn on, I don't know what you call that, wireframe. But if you right click on this, you can do linear or smooth, or you can lock the point. Uh, same thing with the next one. So this is the f actually the first one. Um, and you can linear or smooth it. Smooth kind of just drops it in, like nice and smooth. And linear is kind of straight. So here it is, linear. And you've just got a nice pull out right here. But if you want it, let's make these closer together. So another trick is you can right click here and go to show video animation. It's a little bit bulky. It's not quite as nice as some of the other things. Because here you can see, and you can't quite make this too much bigger, I've been using Final Cut Pro for a really long time, but at the same time, there's always more to learn. And I wish I could make these things bigger, because they're tiny to me. I think you can through... No, that's not it. You can make these bigger, but you can't really make... Yeah. Anyways. Here's your... Here's your um, all your positions or just your scale. I'm not sure. Yeah, you can. So you can move these around and let's make this closer. So that it goes. So that's linear. But actually, this one is, if we go back to here, we can uh, uh, make me a liar. Okay, this is linear. So now, that's linear, and then you can each make one of these smooth, go back to your other keyframe, and do the same with this one, smooth, and now you should have kind of a smoother, and that's kind of all you can do. I mean, sure, there's probably other things you can do in here. Um, But that's one way to keyframe it. Also, another one was saying, I would just use Ken Burns. So let's just delete all these keys. Oops. And then I'm just going to close this, hide video animation. And then you can add like your Ken Burns effect, which is in crop, and then Ken Burns. And then this, you can use this to uh, to do this. Now, obviously, that's going to use, it's going to do the whole clip. So if you shorten it, say four seconds, that kind of eases it. And you can change this in here to whatever you want. You know, say you wanted it to go into here for some reason. You know, and then you've got this you like my sound effects? So Ken Burns is great for quick and dirty kind of things. If you want something a little bit more, um, yeah, something you want to do yourself, you keyframe in this style uh, with the scaling. Um, and as I said, even though I've been using this for ages, I'm sure that there's more than one way to skin a cat here. So enjoy your move to Final Cut Pro. Um, I have never been a pr Premiere user, uh, but I was an Avid user, and I can tell you right now that even though I love the speed of Final Cut Pro X, I hate the magnetic timeline. Hate it, hate it, hate it. <laughs> um, I'm old school, and I've learned to work around the magnetic timeline, but it's it's it, it takes some time to get used to, put it that way. So. As you can see, anyway.